It's rain wet streets, it's nights like this with fog rolling in, cars, faceless people going by doing the things that they're doing. There's something kind of hypnotic about it. That's when I get inspired to carry what these streets are like, what the city is like, the mysteries, the stories, the thousands and thousands of people that you pass that are going by as shadows in this wet, cold, dangerous environment. I wanted to grab that. I wanted to take it into the future. And where I took it was cyberpunk. What I loved was the fact that it was a combination of dystopian society, a lot of technology, with this really great overlayer of almost film noir. In a cyberpunk world, I realized real soon, was a world where people had the technology, but it didn't fundamentally change the fact that there was a lot of treacherous, nasty behavior, large weapons, and a lot of sort of serious danger all about. The important part in cyberpunk is just that. It's not the technology, it's the feel. It's getting that dark, gritty, rain-wet street feeling, but at the same time, getting that rock and roll, lost and desperate and dangerous quality. Cyberpunk is about that interface between people and technology, but not in that transhumanist way where it's all about the technology changing or improving them. It's about how people use things. There's a great Gibson saying, the street finds its uses for things. And that's what cyberpunk is about. Cyberpunk isn't about saving humanity, it's about saving yourself. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. We have a city to burn.